First of all, Emma, can I just ask you about obviously signed a new contract and nice to get that done and dusted? Yeah, obviously, um, um, real happy to get it done. Um, you know, supporting the scholars when I was younger and being yeah. down here is a brilliant environment. Um, the setup we've got down there and you know the players and the coaching staff is uh, yeah. I was real tough to get it uh, sorted. So um, looking forward to the next three years now. Yeah, and I suppose with Matthew heading to the Blues, opportunities will will arise. I suppose. Yeah, obviously it's, it's going to be a big loss for the squad. Uh, Matthew's you know he's been a brilliant player over the last nine yeah. years. I think it has been. Um, so you know it's been it's been good to train alongside him and been trying to you know steal as many tips as I can off him and line up wise yeah. and scrum wise. So. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll allow me to get a bit more game time. But um, yeah, it's, you know it's been it's been good training alongside him, and yeah. hopefully I'd have picked up a few tips along the way. It'd be strange if you have to come against him next year, wouldn't it? Having been in Port of Fan, you said he's been here nine years. Since, yeah. since you've been here. So. Yeah, I know. Um, don't know how the first few scrums will go, but um, yeah. yeah, obviously you want to play against the best players, and yeah. um, he's a renowned scrummager, so yeah. um, it'd be good to test yourself against him. Yeah. Um, just looking ahead, now, obviously. Things didn't go your way last weekend out of the competition. How do you approach the game against Leicester on Sunday? You know, it's it feels as if we got you know a bit of freedom this week. It's um, you know, right. you know last week uh, obviously it, there's new boys coming into the squad, but this week we know we know we can just go and uh, you know play a bit. There's a few new yeah. boys as well. Um, obviously, you know we want to get back on the winning ways. Um, it's good to be playing the the champions. I think they're going to come, you know, pretty pretty loaded yeah. with a few of the English boys back. So um, yeah, you know, the boys coming in if they want to prove a point, you know, it's, there's no better platform to be able to do that. When they on corner or do you just focus fully on Sunday at the moment? Um, yeah, Sunday at the moment. Yeah. Just, um, you know, we want to get things right. We want to go through yeah. our patterns and our plays and. Um, so I don't think we can get ahead of ourselves. We just want to concentrate on what's what's coming up next, and you know it's a big enough challenge anyway. So mm. we're fully focused for Sunday. Did you take positives out of the sale, defeat? Yeah, yeah. If it, you know, it feels as if we started well. Yeah. Um, we felt quite controlled the first twenty minutes, and we took our chances quite well. Yeah. Um, possibly you know a few of their experienced the internationals, then you know they really took took hold of the game. And second half, maybe we eased off, but. Um, yeah, happy with the way we started. It's um, you know yeah. we got a target the first twenty minutes really, so yeah, a bit disappointed we eased off, but you know I think we can. There's more more positives than has been the last few weeks to come out of that game. And I suppose being back at home, you've had some tough results at home in in last uh, few outings. Yeah, nice to get a win for the for the fans as well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a pretty tough fixture list the last yeah, few months. Has, um, yeah. A lot of away games. Um, it's going to be nice, you know, to um, have a few runs at home. You know, with the travel and stuff, it's a lot yeah. easier. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. We, uh, you know, we owe the fans' uh, performance. We know, you know, they've been travelling everywhere to support us. So, uh, we're lucky to give them a big run this weekend. Yeah, you could have said a lot of home games left, haven't you, in terms of league and obviously weekend as well. Yeah, but you know, it's hopefully it'll help us a lot. We've uh, put ourselves in a reasonably good position in the league, and um, you know, the running I think is, you know, good five six home games. So, yeah. you know, hopefully we'll be able to. Um, Start of the year, we had a good home record, so we're looking to um, get that back on track. Really, um, looking ahead to this weekend's game, though, what are the, what has the mood been in the squad? Um, yeah, done in in Shemed, they got all of us with that. Um, in terms of El Bonidi Dachrev game and that, and um, John only did slack off back towards the Duwed. So I mean, Edrich Mani Trial by Pethen Yawn of us in um, Gemma Leston team team Grieve Yawn, so in Edrich Mani a challenge. And given that you can't go any further in the RB Cup, what's the motivation for this match? Um, you know, my dig on Danny Quarem Dan, my boys in Quarem, I'm um, Savle and a game and a Kangrad. Firstly, do a lot of boys in the world, a lot of boys in Trial Pro V Point. So um, my dig on Quarem Dan, so um, ah, do a new world, new world champion. So I'm not going to come down What positives have you taken out of last weekend's game from Sale? And in terms of well, only the Dachrel game and that, with the Egan minute can have only in terms of well, Tavnio than and Rioli of game. Um, Johnny Shemed they got the pithe, or the Chorier Runglado no idea come with Gripper game within and a lot of the he don't mass of game. Um, Johnny defend a lot when he did in and with all that and um, a lot of boys know with the right doula and have it some. Yeah, so we can have a dig on all positives, you can be massive game.
Yeah, I suppose last week it was just good to get back, was it? Yeah, yeah um, I had a few weeks out. Yeah. Um, had a couple, a couple of weeks due to a little ban, but um, yeah. yeah, it was just nice to get, to get back on the field and um, yeah. get 65 minutes yeah. of the legs, really. Obviously, in terms of the incident, it just it must have been frustrating after you know so long out injured, and then especially against the Ospreys as well. Then you land yourself for the three. Yeah, I think, I think it was one of them, yeah. one of them, one of them situations yeah. where decisions made, and unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, it was probably the wrong one. But mm. I think that's part of part of sport. I, yeah. I mean, I got I got it wrong, and yeah. and subsequently, I I took a three week get really full back. Do you enjoy it? I do, yeah. I, I I played quite a bit of full back yeah. for when I was with the Ospreys, so um, yeah, yeah I, I don't mind playing across the back line to be honest. Um, yeah. As long as I'm on the field, I think I'm, yeah. I'm quite happy, really. Yeah, and a couple of nice moments there last week. Well, right? Yeah, a couple of nice touches. Yeah. Um, it still felt a little bit rusty, but um, yeah. Other than uh, I think it was just it was just a good yeah good game to get under my belt, really. Yeah, and you were in it for a, quite a long time as well. Didn't you? Yeah, we were. We we had our tails up the first yeah. first quarter hour, twenty minutes, and I thought oh, we 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 are in it with a chance winner here. Yeah. And unfortunately, we we lost lost a boy to yellow card, and yeah. and unfortunately went down in a little bit there. Yeah. And when you're on a run like this, is it difficult? Does confidence take a knock? Um, I think I think the confidence does take a knock, I yeah. suppose. Um, but um, we're quietly confident. We yeah. we know we're building towards something, and yeah. And sort of say that these next this well last week and this yeah. week are, are build and I want towards our Rabo. Yeah, because suppose it doesn't help when what Simon said twenty six players missing as well last weekend. It, it does affect. The yeah, players. I think it has a massive effect. Yeah. You know, we we got quite a lot of boys with the with the, out on international duty. Yeah. Um, who are probably well, our, our first team, our first team, fifteen yeah. boys and. And it does have a massive effect on on, on the squad. You, know, you mean fringe players coming in, boys trying to make a make a point, yeah. and yeah, um, yeah it, it does have a big 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 impact. Yeah. In terms of this week, obviously qualification is now out of the question, but obviously less less are likely to bring a strong side down. It's a big test this weekend again. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a massive test for us. Um, a, a big test of character as well. We yeah. don't we don't want to go out there and just just fold up and and give it to them. Really, we yeah. want to spoil the party. Yeah. We want to win. Yeah. I mean, we, 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 we unfortunately we are struggling for wins. Yeah. Um, and that's that's why we play. We don't we don't yeah. come here to finish second best. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going out there to win. Yeah. Um, and to push on really to, to get a bit of confidence back and 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 push on in the Rabo. Yeah. Because those Connacht and Munster games they're huge in the context of your season now. Isn't yeah, it? they are massive. Yeah. Um, we obviously we were targeting the next next few weeks as um, yeah. as probably a make or break really. Yeah. yeah. When you were joined the Scarlet, did you expect to see Sean Hawley come? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. No. <laughs> no, it was quite a quite a quite a surprise to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I've worked with Sean for yeah. quite a number of years now. Um, he's very yeah. very um, uh, well drilled coach. He knows what he wants. And um, he portrays that to the boys, and yeah. and I think he's brought a bit of confidence. With, with yeah. do you mean as a new face, boys want to impress, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's just a new, bit of new blood in the camp, and yeah. And hopefully, hopefully yeah. he's going to do something to help us. Yeah. In terms of you, you mentioned 15, 12, 10, You, you don't mind you? No, I th I think I think I pref probably prefer midfield. Right. Probably twelve is where I'd want to play regularly, but um, as I said, I think. Um, at the moment, I think I'm just happy to be on the field. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 18 months ago, I was told I might never play rugby again. So, yeah. So I think um, yeah. all the bonus at the moment. It is yes, yes. So yeah, I'm just happy to be playing. I suppose. Yeah. What um yeah this weekend without the qualification gone? Just uh, how what motivates the squad? I think um, I think it's the fact that there's a lot of little things to points to prove. Really, um, we have struggled over the last. Last few weeks, especially in Heineken as well, and I, I don't think we've we've shown what we we are capable of. Um, so I think this this week now is is a massive kick on for us. So we need we need to to kind of put a good performance in and push on then in, into into the Rabo Direct. Do you feel it's far away? It's just small things, little things. Yeah, things. it is. It is little things. Um, unfortunately, a couple of little wrong decisions now and again, silly knock on, silly penalties, and. Next thing you know, you're 
you're 20 points down. So I think I think it proved on the weekend what we capable of. We we went up by by 14, 17 points, and um, a silly yellow card. And next thing you know, we're down. Going into half time and and uh, the tide has turned, I suppose. So yeah, I think it's just those little little details that that will win you games, I suppose. And Sean Holly, what's the sort of is he what influence has he made so far with the squad? Uh, I think he, I think he's um, like I said earlier on. Um, he's brought a bit of fresh blood to the camp. Um, he's brought a few ideas in. Um, not a lot different to what what we already got, I suppose. But. Um, yeah, he's brought a, brought a few fresh ideas, and um, hopefully we'll we'll see them working soon. And for you personally, nice to be working under him again. Yeah, I think I think it's it's, it's always nice to kind of know what sort of coach, what sort of coach is coming in. Um, obviously, I, I've never really worked with um, Matt Jones and used to be before, so I didn't know what to expect. But I, I kind of I know Sean quite well, so I know what he wants and how he likes things. So I think on a personal level, it's, it's a benefit for me.